In less than four weeks, Habib Namagomedov has been accused of tax fraud and holding a secret passport, his bank accounts have been seized, and his gym in Dagestan has been raided in relation to a terrorist attack, all of which has punched a noticeable dent in the former UFC champion's legacy. But does he really deserve the blame? Or is he being unfairly dragged into a geopolitical tug of war? Russia. I mean, just like every bloody government's crooked as hell, and Russia's right up there with the best. When Habib retired in 2020, following his second round submission win against Justin Gaethje, he cited the lack of family time as the sole reason. He said that he wanted to spend more time with his mother, wife, and children following the death of his father and mentor, Abdul Manap Namagomedov. Habib's family live in Dagestan, which means he should have packed his bags and returned to the mountainous region for good. However, he still spent more time in the United States and Abu Dhabi than in Russia. His reason was simple. He wanted to help guys like Islam Makachev, Usman Namagomedov, and his brother Umar win titles in the UFC and Bellator. Three years after his retirement, however, Habib completely quit the MMA scene. He no longer coached his brothers and friends and returned to Dagestan to spend time with his family, especially his son, who's now old enough to train. The Eagle did spend time with his family, as well as students at Eagle's MMA gym in Mahakala, and every now and then he traveled to the United Arab Emirates and Turkey to oversee businesses that he was establishing. Habib's initial investments were in Russia. For instance, he spread the web of MMA training facilities in the country before adding a restaurant and protein bars to the mix, but at the same time, he was also joining hands with the cream of the crop in UAE and Turkey to expand his business empire. That didn't sit well with the Russian authorities. The thing I was reading said that the big problem was he's taking business out of Russia into Dubai and Turkey, which is making you know the Kremlin pretty mad at him. Now, if you have even an ounce of political knowledge, you know what happens when the Kremlin is mad at you. In May, Habib was accused of evading around 300 million Russian rubles, or $3.3 million in taxes. According to Russian authorities, several warnings were issued to the UFC star, but when they didn't hear back, they were left with no option but to seize all of his bank accounts, not just the ones associated with his businesses, while they continue their investigation into alleged tax evasion. What could be the consequences? And he could be looking at steep penalties, including three years of forced labor, labor six years in jail, or up to a $500,000 fine. Just a couple of weeks after Habib's bank accounts were seized, the story took another interesting turn, with Habib alleged to have taken up the UAE nationality, which was banned up until 2021. The UAE permitted this by amending the nationality law in 2021, allowing foreign investors, professionals, special talents, and their families to obtain citizenship under certain conditions. Habib isn't alone in this. Hamzat Chimaev also recently became a UAE citizen by giving up his Swedish nationality. If true, Habib's decision to take up UAE citizenship makes one wonder if he saw a storm coming and was planning on fleeing. And was he planning on taking his money out of Russia to the UAE? Either way, tax fraud is a crime, and there's no logical justification for it, unless, of course, you put the blame on others or totally reject it like Habib's team did. In an official statement, Habib's team said, and I quote, The information about tax debt is inaccurate. Habib continues to engage in business projects and develop them. There are also rumors that Habib himself wasn't directly involved in alleged tax fraud, but the people he has assigned to handle his businesses either failed to fulfill tax obligations or deliberately avoided them. Nevertheless, Conor McGregor is quite pleased as he feels vindicated. That's a typical rat behavior scurrying rat so he has bills to to to, to pay i i fight he fight well fight for legacy he, two main events or something he has in the ufc and he owes his bollocks to the russian government so he'd want to pay his money that he owes instead of siphoning it out through to other countries so i'm ecstatic and delighted that that's coming on top of him now some people believe the russian authorities are unfairly targeting habib because of his silence on the ukraine war According to Ahmed Akhmedov, the president of Russia's professional kickboxing federation, Putin's secretary, Dmitry Peskov, called Habib and asked him to make an anti-Ukrainian post in support of Putin. After Habib refused, his relatives were fired from government positions and his accounts were blocked. 
The reason why Habib refused to go anti-Ukraine is because his father studied as well as represented the country in combat. Moreover, Habib himself represented the country in his early days, so it's natural that he has love and respect for Ukraine. The denial, however, was a major blow for Russian authorities, who understand how important it is to control the influential people in the complex region of Dagestan and Chechnya. So, naturally, there ought to be consequences. For those who don't know, Dagestan and Chechnya have been at odds with the Russian authorities for as long as one can remember, so it's only wise for Russian authorities to have some degree of influence in the region. That influence doubles if they have opinion leaders like Habib in their pockets. After Habib's blockbuster win against Conor McGregor at UFC 229, Putin personally called him before inviting him to a face-to-face -face meeting plus other perks and gifts. He didn't even make it back to his dressing room after the fight and Putin was on the phone. And Putin gave him and his father like $20 million worth of property in, in, in Russia. Um, then he went into you know the Muslim territories where these guys are just cars, money, what, gyms, whatever, whatever he wanted. Not only that, Habib also had a wonderful relationship with Chechen director Ramzan Kadyrov up until 2019. But since the death of his father, the eagle has distanced himself from the top figures in Russia. Maybe he doesn't want to be associated with them and attract bad press. Or maybe he doesn't want to be used as a pawn for marketing. The problem is, it's tough to ignore the powers that be in Russia, and there are consequences especially if guys who train in your gym are involved in terrorist activities. In June, several gunmen launched a coordinated attack on churches and synagogues across two cities in Dagestan, a predominantly Muslim republic in Russia's southern region. The assailants set fire to a synagogue after shooting and killing the police officers who were guarding it. They also executed a Russian priest and attacked several police posts, resulting in the deaths of at least 15 law enforcement officers. At least five of the gunmen were killed, and one of them was Gadzimurad Kagirov, an MMA fighter affiliated with Habib and his late father, Abdul Manap. Given the magnitude of the attack, Habib was quick to disassociate himself from Kagirov, saying that he wasn't a regular and only trained at the facility for two months a few years ago, when Ziazadin Magomedov, a jailed Russian oligarch known for giving financial aid to up-and-coming Dagestani fighters, had some degree of control over Eagles MMA. You took money from no. Magomedov! Of Hold on, you took of money! Course. You took of money course. from Magomedov and you were a yes. little lick-ass rat! No, now I what? Talk. Putin locked him up! I well, say something to Putin about locking Magomedov up! Interestingly, Ziazadin Magomedov has also been jailed for tax embezzlement worth around $10 million, although he denies the allegations. The former UFC champ also issued an official statement condemning the heinous attack on innocent civilians. He said, My condolences to all the relatives and friends of the victims. May Allah save us all from such institutions and grant us a peaceful sky over our heads. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and let everyone look around themselves and around their children, with whom they interact and who is around them. Educating souls is more important than educating bodies. Now the big question. Will Habib face jail time for alleged tax fraud? Putin, I have a hard time believing Putin's going to do anything to Habib. It seems unlikely, since he can easily pay the $500,000 fine and get away with it, but it's certainly a tough position to be in. Whether he ends up in jail or not, it's clear that Habib has fallen out of favor with the Russian authorities, and the pressure on him is increasing. Under these circumstances, it would be wise for him to stay in the United Arab Emirates, or pay his taxes and meet the demands of the Russian authorities quietly if he wants to live a peaceful life with his family. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.